Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove by mathematical induction 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus dot 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 n into n factorial equal to n plus 1 factorial minus 1. Let's take this entire term as p of n. So p of n is having two parts. One is left hand side. 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus dot 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 n into n factorial and on the other side we have right hand side which is n plus 1 factorial minus 1. Now as a first part we have to take p of 1. So p of 1 we have to take left hand side first. When it is p of 1 it is only the first term. So 1 into 1 factorial and 1 factorial is 1. So totally 1 into 1 which is 1 and in the right hand side we have to substitute the value of n as 1 here. So n plus 1 factorial is 1 plus 1 factorial then minus 1. Totally it is 2 factorial minus 1. 2 factorial is 2. So 2 minus 1 we get 1. So we see LHS equal to RHS. Therefore P of 1 is true. Now we have to assume P of K is true. So let's take Assume P of K is true. It means we have to write the expression for P of K. So 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus dot 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 K into K factorial equal to K plus 1 factorial minus 1. To prove P of K plus 1 is true. For that we have to write the expression for p of k plus 1. So p of k plus 1 is 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus dot 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 k into k factorial plus k plus 1 into k plus 1 factorial and on the other side it is when I take k as k plus 1 already there is one more 1 so k plus 1 plus 1 become k plus 2 so k plus 2 factorial minus 1 now we take left hand side of this expression that is 1 into 1 factorial plus 2 into 2 factorial plus dot 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 k into k factorial plus k plus 1 into k plus 1 factorial. Now this entire term is nothing but we can take from this expression that is k plus 1 factorial minus 1. So here for this term we are going to substitute k plus 1 factorial minus 1. Then along with that we have one more term that is k plus 1 so we take k plus 1 into k plus 1 factorial. So from these two terms we can take k plus 1 factorial common in open bracket. So we are taking common from this and this. So after taking common this we get 1. Then from here we left with k plus 1 and separately we have minus 1 that we write at the end. Now this is k plus 1 factorial into k plus 2 minus 1 and there is a basics suppose we have 10 factorial and when this is multiplied with the next number it can be written as 11 factorial. So the same way we have k plus 1 and this is the next value k plus 2. So totally we can take it as k plus 2 factorial minus 1. So we see we got the right hand side. So we took LHS and we got the RHS. Therefore P of k plus 1 is true and hence P of n is 
true for all n belong to natural number by principle of mathematical induction.